So, this is a pretty strong hand, but that actually has a problem. But I don't want to use these cards necessarily round one. Okay. It's really annoying to start with the tactical advantage because he could have a Manticore and just kill whatever, but if I just play a 4, then he can play a Rot Fiend and just kill it. But he cannot... yeah, he can't trigger Rot Fiend right away. So I think this guy's still okay. In the back. Wouldn't be your rat deck better with uh, the new monster's ability? I have to think about it. Because you have three consumes in the hand, and you get extra six points, I suppose, which fills your own board. The problem is, you would need to, you you can and you must redesign the the deck slightly because. I would need less consumes, so I would put in something else, but can I put in something else, I suppose? That is what uh, I would need to consider. Again, again, again. So, good point. Uh, have to be considered. But I think the red deck, without changes, should be pretty damn good still. Actually, I would love to hear about uh, your experiences with it, because apparently you guys love it as much as I do. And that deck is just ridiculously fun. Like, especially if you're bored with uh, just like, hey, I'm just slamming uh, points on the board kind of decks. You're just playing the game completely differently, and that's just so awesome. Okay. I don't know who was the genius who actually... Uh, because obviously I, I wasn't the one who made the red deck first, I suppose, because the deck was made for me by the devs, I guess. They must have thought of this scenario. And, uh... And, yeah. It is... It is sneakily one of the better decks they designed. So I'm gonna give the devs credit for the deck I, I, I constructed. Because that, that's how it's fair. Hmm. We might just play a Temple Guard. Actually, I kind of considered this. That did they did they fully explore the the possibility of the red deck? I would love to hear about that. What do you guys think? Have they truly explored the red deck? And they truly explored the that noon rate card and its implications when they released it. Because that's basically one card. That's one of the better cards. One of the best cards they released. Ever in Grant, because that's one card that enables an archetype. That's amazing. I love that card. Yeah, I think we're just gonna pass. I usually don't build decks on stream, because it just gets boring for you guys. Although I do in, uh, try to explain, but for, for the most part, it's just a whole lot of just trying, thinking about possibilities. It's just, 
it is a very uh, lengthy process. And at times you just find an okay option and you just okay you just try it out and it just doesn't work. Even me making the red deck, uh, that was actually a pretty lengthy process as well. Because first I just put in everything that uh, that helped with the strategy of filling the enemy's board. But then I had to scale that back. Because we were just doing that too much and I was losing round one. So obviously I had to go win round, round one and still do my strategy round three. And if that doesn't work, also have a plan B uh, to fall back on. Even though that's not what I really want to do. It was still nice to have a fallback plan. We're not guaranteed to have a taunt. Down with a mirror. He most likely has a manticore. Really? I faced red today. Wow, that's amazing. But it's of course doesn't work against dr the drug deck. Ah. No. That is so crushing to hear. I can't kill this. So he's gonna not gonna mess with me anymore. I think we have to. I demand satisfaction. But now. he needs one boost. Let's play it like that. That's a good steal for him. Spawn one power. Okay. Sometimes the price is too That that red deck is one of my proudest achievements, along with the the close beta spy deck. It seems like those those two decks. I truly, I truly, uh, I don't know, started myself, or at least felt that way. Oh my god. The close bait the spy deck was stupid. Old Grant. Jesus, Adam. Where the heck is the hair? It's, it's, it's called quarantine, man. You... I'm just, I'm just repeating Sodo's jokes at this point, because it was a good joke. I have this uh, prison uh, jumpsuit and, of course, no hair, because I have to look badass. He <laughs> tries for Leto <laughs> play this summer full circle. Now you're repeating my joke. <laughs> Oh my god. Are you in Hungary, Adam? Um. No, I'm in jail. Those dwarves locked me up. Boss got looking clean as fuck. Hey, Mardo face. I like it. I like this style. It's very low effort and, I don't know, feels good. Uh, 
Can I get... We might get Kira Mats, but we have to do a Reynardo though here. Uh, we have to watch... Oh fuck, I'm dumb! I had a really crazy Igni, but I was chatting. And that was dumb. That's an insane Igni. 24 point Igni. What the hell? Music marries cultures, connects folk to one another. That's pretty good. Dumb dumb. <laughs> Oh, come on, line up, boys. I feel honored, truly. I don't think we're gonna get it back. It's also getting boosted. Wait, that's nope. We might be good. <laughs> We're not good. <clears throat> if this goes down by two, then we're gonna have a pretty good uh, Igni again. Has breathed on it as well. <laughs> also, this is a 24. Never mind that. Oh shit. <laughs> you stand before royal majesty. Okay. I guess we're gonna play an Igni. Then we play the peasant. Oh, nice. Play a death fish unit from your deck. Really? That's the big play. The Vera cat. Okay. Let's get this over with. Apparently, that. Uh, <clears throat> That would just extend the BM. Me not killing uh, the 24 point worth of guys. GG! Yeah. You need to play the, the rat deck if you're playing monsters. What the hell was this? GG.